today is the YouTubers Weekly Nail Art Stamping Club, and hosting this one is Nerdy Creations, and the theme is Jack-O-Lanterns. The links to everyone's video will be in the description box below as soon as I receive them, and our Instagram links are already there, and already there in case you'd like to check us out on Instagram. You're seeing all of our awesome pictures right now and mine will be the last one and then I'll show you how I created it. First I'll be applying a base coat to protect my natural nail. Next I'll be applying Brave's Diva Polish on the black. And this is a one coat stamping polish. You can also use it as a base color, which I'm going to use it today. So we're only going to need one coat of this. I've actually decided to go in with a second coat of the black just to smooth out some of the imperfections I had. I think a thicker coat works better. For the jack o lantern faces, we'll be using Hit the Bottle stamping polishes. I pink, therefore I am. Orange, you excited? Shazam, yellow. And Ectoplasm, green. And the stamping plate I'll be using is Uber Chic. Halloween 03. I'll be using my Queen Sticky Stamper and I will be applying a sticky base coat and letting it dry for one minute before I apply the stamped faces. So I'm going to use these little pumpkin faces right here. Let's try this one right here. Now the stampers aren't quite sticky enough, so I'm going to use this Uber Chic Sticky Stamper and just make a decal out of it. Because I'm not getting any of my clear stamper heads to work at all. So that's coming up with a pretty good image. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of this stuff on the side there. Oops. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of the smudge free top coat over the little face and wait for that to dry and peel it off. Next, I'm going to use part of this big blingy stamper and this one's pretty sticky too because I don't want to wait for that whole thing to dry so next I'm gonna get that one right there hopefully this stamper will pick that up oh yeah that looks really good okay so we'll just get this part off right here and then we'll take the smudge free top coat and make this into a little decal. And I'm pretty sure the other decals should be ready by now. I should be able to pop this right on. Actually, no, I was going to peel it off. That's right, because I can't see what I'm doing. So I have this little stick right here. 
actually. I think one of these silicone tools will work a little bit better. Okay, I'm not having any luck peeling these guys off either. Wow, <laughs> that's bad. All right, so what I'm just gonna do is I am just going to pop it on here. The sticky base coat should take it up. There we go. It doesn't matter that it's not straight. because These are just gonna be happy pumpkin faces or scary pumpkin faces or whatever. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it a little bit and roll it. Ugh. Oh, that one didn't come out at all. That's okay. I have an idea. I'll do like two pumpkin faces on that now. And one just kind of off to the bottom. And that'll work out just perfectly. And then I'm going to get this pumpkin face right here. Okay, so I'm going to try to put this one right down here in the corner. There, not too bad. It'll look better once we get the top coat on. Okay, and then I'm just going to get this last little one right here. And let's see. I think I could put this little guy up here. And then I'm using smudge free top coat to seal in the faces. I'm using a corrector pen to get some stuff off of the edge right here. And I have one more little face to put down here. There we go. And some smudge free top coat. Okay, so now I'm just going to put some sash feet, quick dry top coat. The um, these smudge freeze already dry, but I just want to give it a good thick coat to smooth out any of the bumps from the decals, and then I'll come back when those are dry. So here are the fun, colorful pumpkin faces. I love the bright colors. I like the faces. They were like a real pain in the butt to get on here um, this time. But at least you know that not all stamping is easy. And hopefully you got some good tips out of this one on what to do when you're struggling with your stamping. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.